Hi everyone, it's Raleigh, and today I'm planning on my Hobonichi cousin for the week of February the 26th, and I'll be using this great Out of the Woods kit from Coffee Monster Co., one of my favorites. And I thought I'd also show you um, the spread I did for last week. I didn't end up filming it. I didn't actually end up doing it until the Tuesday, I think. Um, and as you can see by the struggle bus sticker, it was a bit of a tough week, so... Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to setting up this week. Things have improved, which is nice. Um, so I'm going to start by just putting the numbers up here. And I'm a little bit shocked that we're heading into March this week, uh, which seems a little strange. This year really has just flown by. Um, and so, yeah, being a little kind of thrown off last week um, was a bit disappointing because I kind of had making good progress with things. Um, but I just had a couple days where, where, you know, my mental health wasn't great and I had some anxiety, which happens from time to time. Um, I did continue with my journaling and was using the planner a little bit. Um, but yeah, when I did end up planning, I didn't film it, uh, which is a bit of a shame because it really is one of my favorite kits to use and I thought it came out nice. But So we're on to this week where we will indeed be jumping into March. <laughs> so I'm hoping this will be a, a good week. I've been feeling a lot better the last couple of days, which is nice. Um, and I've gotten to see a lot of family and friends. And it's kind of interesting because, um, and, and I, you know, when I'm having a tough couple of days, I do reach out to my friends and speak with them and share with them how I'm feeling, my family as well. Just put the weekend sticker up there. Um, and everyone is incredibly supportive, as well as my colleagues at work. Um, cause I think we all hit those times, but was, was kind of nice this, this weekend was I saw my parents and, and, uh, some other family and one of my closest friends and everyone, um, had kind of been giving me these nice little kind of treats. Um, I got, um, kind of a, just a little thing, like a gift card and some, uh, kind of shortbread that one of my friends had bought me and, um, and a couple other things and so it was just kind of nice um yeah it was just sort of a nice nice thing to happen um, I, so sometimes i think there's some balance to things but i was really excited about using this kit it really is one of my favorites i have another wintry kit but i haven't been able to use it well not been able but haven't used it because we haven't oddly enough had any significant snow here um, I'm in Canada near Toronto um, and I think it's only been maybe two or three times where we've had like snow enough to clear and I have this beautiful set that I just haven't used yet but there's still no snow on, snow on the ground it's looking a little um, kind of grim so I but I, I really do like this kit I like the kind of woodsy nature of it so I thought I'd use it so I just put some of the little cute little tree dividers up there um, and I've got a post-it here with balloons because it's going to be my dad's birthday and we'll have a birthday dinner, which will be something nice to look forward to. I also want to put a box up here because it is going to be the start of the month. And I think I'll have, I've got a March sticker that I can put in there if I can find it. Um, and this week as well, I, I did get a couple of orders in, which was nice too, uh, from Coffee Monster Co., which is the sticker company I use for, for the cousin. And I ended up, uh, yesterday when I was running errands, I picked up some more Tombow markers, which was nice too. So I'm just going to put garbage and recycling there. And I think um, I'm going to be kind of doing it a little m more traditionally. I um, In last week, I had kind of bigger boxes and sections with less space up top for what happened each day. But I'm going to go back to kind of the way that I usually do it, which is leaving kind of half the space up top to kind of track what's happening in the day and a little bit plan what's happening in the day. Oh, that's a perfect one for this week. <laughs> um, and then in the bottom, I'll have a couple of kind of lists and sections. Um, I'd hit, and I think I might put some today stickers as well well or to do stickers. Um, I have been using the daily and I've really enjoyed doing that. Um, I did have a couple days last week where I didn't do it on the day because I just wasn't feeling up to it, but I, I usually caught up the next day. Um, but one of the things I've started using the daily for is the kind of making a to do list for that day. Um, but this week I, I want to use, oh, and I'm just putting down this um, sticker here. I'm going to use it as a bit of a mood tracker. But this week I want to use the um, kind of daily pages more kind of just as like journal and especially for kind of mood and how I'm feeling. 
um, mentally and physically as well, because I think the two do kind of tie together. Um, and actually one of the appointments I have at the end of this week, I think I'm just going to put these here as little breakers too, um, is actually my, my annual physical, um, which is good. I'll get a chance to talk to my doctor a little bit. Um, yeah, so I think that's looking pretty good. And I think I'm just going to, I was going to debating some washi, but I think I am actually just going to put a line across the bottom. And yeah, there's something about this kit. I just really, really like it. The colors and the greens and the browns and the grays and just really, really nice. And I'm fortunate I live right by a trail, which is one of the benefits of it's not of it not snowing as much as I have been able to get out a little more too, uh, which is good. Um, although it was another, it's always a double-edged sword because when I wasn't feeling as well last week, I wasn't going out even though I probably could have. Um, I think I got out once for, for a kind of trail walk. Um, but it all sort of bundles together. Um, so yeah, hopefully tomorrow maybe I can start back to that. And this week is going to be busy at work. I i don't have anything outside of the home office, but there's a lot to do. And then, yeah, and then on the weekend, I'm having a nice dinner for my dad, which would be great to see some more friends and family. And this time, I think I'm just going to, I just drew that across, and I'm, I don't think I'm going to put the line down for the weekend. Um, yeah. This is looking pretty good. So yeah, it was always, it was a nice treat this week to be able to get those orders from Coffee Monster Co. I know they have a, a big, I think it's the eighth anniversary sale coming up on March the 5th. So I'll probably be getting another order in there as well. And yeah, towards the end of last week, I was able to get a few more things done, especially a couple things that I, um, yeah, so I think I'm actually gonna use these stickers. A lot of the time I'll just write stuff in or put a box and write it in, but I think I'm gonna use these. So maybe I didn't need the line there, but okay, well, I'll just carry on with these. Um, oh yeah, so I think um, I, I looked and there's some interesting things coming up on that anniversary sale. So I think I probably will do another order, but I got some really nice ones in. Okay, um, so I just went ahead and I finished putting some more of the um, kind of header labels on there and I used another one of the big kind of picture boxes and then I'll have a couple sections at the end. Oh, and I'd forgotten to put my work down. I don't know if I'll put the, yeah, I don't know if I'll put the arrows, but I will put, if I can find my work sticker. And one of the reasons I like using one, the one company, but also using the kits is, you know, with kind of minimal effort, you can have it, it looks just sort of put together and nice. So um, I'll just put a couple more stickers down. Family time. Um, let's see. So I think this is looking pretty good. I'm still debating whether to use the to do stickers. Um, oh, that's right too, with the new month, um, when a new month is starting, I usually do kind of a deeper clean of my home, which I would actually normally have done this weekend, but I didn't, so, um, but I love it because I get to use this sticker, um, it's a clean the house sticker, and it just happens that the main sticker that it comes with has the rooms on the main floor of my home, which is nice, but, um, if you are interested in this, um, there's actually a way that you can get it so you can sort of pick the rooms that you want to include, which I think is really kind of nice too. So yeah, I like to use that one when I'll be doing my monthly, bigger monthly clean. And I want to put a couple more, I think I'm just going to use sticker trackers. In the last few weeks, I've been using kind of more written out trackers, but I think this time I'll stick with these. So I've got a no spend, and then I think I'll put one or two of these other ones down. Yeah, so this is looking pretty good. Nice. Um, let me see. So yeah, I think other than um, maybe putting the to do. Oh, you know what? I'll start filling in some of this information. Um, but one of the things I did do last week, because when my mind is sort of scattered all over the place, I watched actually quite a few... Uh, videos of people doing planning and it's always so inspiring and um, one because people use a lot of different kinds of, of stickers and designs. Um, I tend to stick to one. I like Coffee Monster Co because in my mind it's just 
easier to get everything from one place and the variety and the style here I really like but it's it's amazing to see the other ones that are out there and also the different ways that people do their planning um, and one of the things that I've been hoping to do and just haven't because of work and every and everything just being a bit busier um, is to share a little more about how I use the daily pages and how I use my traveler's notebooks, which is actually something that something else I thought about a little bit last week um, when I was trying to find things to sort of focus my brain on. Um, uh, so it was watching planning videos and then also thinking about how I use my traveler's notebooks because I was actually about to film kind of how I'm currently using them, but I think I'm going to do a little tweaking, tweaking, but then I will share that as well. And that's going to be for mood. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I think this is coming out um, pretty well. And yeah, I like to use, I like, I really like this layout and it kind of, for me mentally anyway, it just calms me a little to see everything here. Um, and then up top I do sort of, you know, each morning I'll kind of list what exactly I'm going to do that day. Um, but this and the daily pages I think are my, my favorites. Um, start to fill some of this. So I think this will be a next week because there'll be a lot of things starting to happen. One of the things I was able to get done was I finally did my, I actually do a lot of my financial stuff just like on a, on a spreadsheet on my either laptop or iPad. And I finally got, got it set up for 2024 quite a bit later than I intended. Um, but it was nice to get that done. And so I've kind of sort of reset some of my own expectations and so I'm thinking especially because I don't know and, and I don't know maybe we say this a lot or it feels like this a lot of the times just flying by um, as I put these to do's up here but I've decided there's a lot of stuff I wanted to get done kind of in the first quarter of this year but in doing some thinking about it I think I'm gonna relax that a, a little bit and use kind of March to um, kind of track some things and kind of sort out in my mind a little better about what I want to do for the rest of the year as opposed to this feeling of I have to um, kind of rush and push myself to get more things done because part of it's just the process of figuring out you know what works best for me when it comes to planning and organizing and what makes me feel good and feel accomplished. Um, there we go so I think those look pretty good. So yeah I think Part of this week too, it'll probably be one of the things I'll write down is to start to think about those things and what I want to get done in March, but then also hopefully set myself up because um, I'm looking forward to spring um, when there's a few th things that I've got planned with family and friends and just getting out a little more, which will be really, really nice. Um, okay, so I'm going to start, I'll put some of these, I'll start to fill this in. All right, and I'm back, so I've just been putting kind of little colored boxes just to add a little something and some notes in each of the areas. So I've got a few more pieces to fill in, but yeah, each day I'll just sort of pick a few things that I want to work on, depending how my workday goes and other things I have going on. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, yeah, it's been a, a good few weeks in the planner. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I'll see you soon.